think a lot of conditioning happens when you see things are wrong and you gotta look the other way for survival. And I've just never been that guy. I come from a bloodline of people that bully the bully, that oppress the oppressor. Like we look for people that think they're tough because we really think they are not. Yeah, so we out here again. RPM, Wu Bang. Yeah, this gun shit is for everybody. There's not a damn one of you that don't have the responsibility to protect yourself and your kids and anybody in your zone of influence, really. Because that's what life is about. All of the natural shit. All the natural shit that y'all seem to be fucking dodging. Y'all don't like nothing natural. They go 5-0 right there. 12. Won't say shit to me. I didn't dump them the fuck up. Who would have ever thought? Who would have ever thought that the nigga be out here like this? With a ski mask on. Cops won't say that to me. <laughs> That's how naive I was. That's how ignorant I was. To the, the way the laws work. Ignorant to the calling of nature. But y'all don't like natural food. Y'all don't like natural women. Y'all don't like nature calling you to defend yourself. Y'all think that uh, fake women and all this processed food, which a lot of it does taste good, I'm not gonna front. I'm not gonna cap with you right now. But uh, everything that's natural, man, is like being pushed to the side, man. I don't get it. How though? How? Nature is fucking beautiful. Nature is a beautiful thing. Uh, and nature is definitely calling y'all to uh, self-preservation, which is the first law of nature, self-preservation. Uh, as soon as you realize that, uh, it's easy to realize it though. It's easy to realize what it is that, that, that nature is calling you to do. This is how simple it is. If you back a stray cat, raccoon, possum, any random animal into a corner and kick it, is it going to beg you or is it going to fight you? I promise you it's going to fight you. It don't care who sent you, what the odds are, it's just going to fight you to the death. That's what it is. That's nature, yo. That's nature calling your ass. And as a grown ass man, as a human being, your natural rights and responsibilities to protect yourself should bring you to gun ownership, period. I don't understand how, how y'all don't understand that. Thugs and street niggas, they get it. But they'll carry a gun and they don't give a fuck what somebody wrote on paper. Somewhere. Voted on. Decided what the proper conduct in society is. And then said that these guys, these people, cannot protect themselves with a gun. I think that's bullshit. A lot of street niggas think it's bullshit. They carry the gun anyway. And I don't blame them. Who the fuck is any other man to tell another man that he can't protect his life? But you, you want society like this? You know, you want to own it, you got to break some eggs. Of course somebody's going to be stupid. Of course somebody's going to be a fucking asshole with a gun. That's what my gun is for. My gun ain't for show. My gun ain't for me to look tough. My gun is only for me taking a stance against an aggressor if my life get challenged. You challenge my life, my health, my well-being, my kids, anybody kids around me, motherfucker. Then that's where the gun comes into play. That's fair as fuck. I don't really know what else anybody else could possibly ask for. What's up? But life, you you only get one life. What up? What up? And with the one life you got, boy, you supposed to be protecting yourself. Period. I'm not even sure if another man can tell you not to. They can threaten you to not protect yourself with a firearm, but they can't really tell you that. Nature is already calling for you to protect yourself. 
And if you're a jerk with a firearm, somebody is going to stop you. Yeah, they are. There's people out here thirsty to stop the bad guy. People don't like hearing all the bad, crazy news all over the media all the time. And the same things that scare you kind of scare me, but this just happened to be my reaction. That's all. If you will not pick up a gun to protect yourself, you are denying a call from nature for you to be your own first responder. Nobody else owes you that. No cops, your father, don't, nobody owe you that. That is up to you. And you can tell that it's up to you. Because if you off somewhere get your life challenged, nobody can call a timeout. You can't hit the pause button to have your father step in and fight that shit for you. That shit is for you. And you're going to have to face that. And then you're going to have to do something about it. Nature insists on it. Now watch, 12 right back there behind me. I bet you they don't say a word to me. I have numbed them to this shit, bro. I would, not, give, I would give you a hug, but I'm a fella. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Hey, hey, I be trying to speak up for fellas, though, yo, because really, if you a felon, like, if you serve your death to, to society, they let you back out on the streets. They got to give you everything, bro. They supposed to give you everything. And if you just so happen to get your hands on a gun and that crazy, somebody gonna get you. The police, your neighbor, somebody gonna get you. You know, that's fair. That's all we need. That's fair as fuck. 30 for the 30. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. Got the Glock, all that. <laughs> the, the, the vest is real, all that. That ain't no play play. That shit heavy too. <laughs> I seen you before, but I, like I said, bro, I don't like to be. Yeah, and see, they, they should not be making you feel like that, bro. Because you already, you got kids? Yeah. Now see, not, not, not as a grown man, you can't even protect your kids with a gun. But your kids ain't got nothing to do with what you did. What the fuck they do to anybody? I'm, I'm training my baby. That's what's up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up, bro. All right. People always express their fear. Cause fear be behind a lot of stuff. Uh, racial hate, uh, hate somebody for their gender or uh, um, or their uh, sexuality. That's crazy. How the fuck you hate somebody cause of who they wanna fuck? What the fuck that got to do with you? You crazy. You need to let the people be who they are. Just like you want to be left alone to be who you are. You can easily see how you're supposed to interact with society when you when you do your inner work. When you work on yourself from the inside out. And everything you find uh, that you believe is going to bring you peace, happiness, safety, tranquility, freedom. Yeah. you got. If you're not wishing that same shit for everybody else, then you bullshit. You straight up bullshit if you don't wish for that for that same shit for everybody else. Cause I know how I feel inside about myself and about my kids. The way I feel about my kids is the way you know somebody feel about you. That's why I can't hurt you. Cause I know when I see you, I see the baby you, bro. I see the baby you that ain't did nothing to nobody. That's what you gonna get from me off default. That's my default position when I when I encounter anybody. And that's gonna be up to you not to spoil that. Cause I was trying to give you peace. With a promise to never be the one to initiate force of violence on you. Ruin that by trying to hurt me or somebody else, bro. Then all deals are off the table. 